What I've done to this footage is I've applied a new effect that we have for CS6 inside of After Effects. This is something called the 3D Camera Tracker. And the 3D Camera Tracker takes a two-dimensional video clip and it does some analysis to it. You can see these little, uh, these little marks on the clip. It's actually trying to analyze the 3D geometry of a two-dimensional video clip. So what this means is uh, I can then drop in an artificial object and I can use, you can see this bullseye actually tries to analyze the different planes. So it's actually trying to create and figure out the geometry around these objects. So I'm just going to put something uh, on the front of this. I'm going to select these three points. I could select additional points if I wanted to. And uh, there's a, a quick shortcut here. I can say create text. And this has created a new text layer. And just as is, if I just let go and hit play, you can see that that is now following the track of the car. Now if I take this, and I can from here start to move this around a bit. So uh, I'll just go in here and very quickly uh, slide this over a little bit. Oops. And we can scale it down in size a bit. And you can see we're still tracking very nicely to the front of the car. So now from here, the next feature is uh, turning that from two-dimensional text into something more integrated with the scene. So to do this, I'm going to come up here to the upper corner to where we have the renderer. And uh, the classic 3D renderer is the way After Effects has always handled 3D. But this new feature allows me to change this to a brand new renderer called the Raytrace 3D Engine. This is something built into After Effects. And when I turn this on, it, it gives me some uh, new options inside of my project here. Now, on my laptop computer, I'm going to go ahead and change this to a uh, special viewing mode here. We'll go ahead and turn on something called Fast Draft. So this will just speed up the overall performance of things. I'll go into this new option for geometry options, and I can come in here and actually adjust uh, things like a, uh, a depth. I can turn on an extrusion of this. I can come in and start to add lights. We'll just add a default light. And so you can start to see that we've now turned that into a 3D object. Now the last part of this, of course, um, I can start to tweak this a little bit better and really start to get, uh, I can add things like environment mapping. So if I turn this layer off and give it a second to render, you'll see that the text itself is just black text. Um, it has no color itself, but we actually have created a an environment map, which is a photograph that is wrapping around the text and uh, creating the actual color and the, the image. So as this moves, the, uh, the color and the lighting and the, actually changes in the shot. So having uh, environment mapping, having real 3D is a really powerful part of uh, this new feature inside of After Effects. Two quick questions. Okay. Uh, did, you, uh, did you create a... Did you create the, the markers, the tracking markers there, the, inside of Premiere Pro? Pro? Inside of After Effects. After Effects. Yeah. Um, to create those markers, um, let me go back to this. And I'll go ahead and just revert back to my original project here. So here I have the footage without any markers attached to it. To create these markers, all I have to do is take this new item, drag, drop this onto the file, and it's actually doing the analysis. Now, while it's doing the analysis, I can continue to play the footage, I can switch to other compositions, but if you come up here to the 3D camera tracker, and I'll just uh, zoom into that here, you'll see that this is going through and it's actually uh, analyzing the footage in the background. And so uh, it's, I didn't change any of the values in here. I just used the default values, just drag and drop, and it automatically created all those tracking points. And how do you take this to So from here, once I have done the track, or once I've created a, uh, you know, I'll go back to my finished version here. If I want to take this over to Premiere Pro, 
uh, we have industry leading integration between all of these different tools. So all I have to do is pick up this composition, switch over to Premiere Pro, and normally I can drop this in my project file. Let me make sure I have my project open here. And I'll switch to my list view here so we can see this in the bottom. I'll go back and do that one more time. Pick this up. Switch. And I can drop this right into Premiere Pro. There we go. And so now I actually have the clip inside of Premiere Pro and I can begin to work with this. So this is a technology that we have had for a while. This was introduced many years ago, um, but it has been refined and improved upon inside of CS6 so that you can take your media footage directly from After Effects without creating a file. You can take it directly from your After Effects project and drop it right into Premiere Pro. Uh, another, thing, another thing is, can you take that tracking information data I mean, to I mean, export it as some kind of, uh, take it to another software? I'm saying like a 3D software, will you be able oh, to like do exporting that? Oh, like exporting the camera tracker. Yeah. Um, for this revision of the 3D camera tracker, um, I don't believe you can export that out. Um, I need to double check that. Um, we can ask a couple of the uh, uh, the other some of the developers are here at the show. Um, I have not seen a way of exporting out that 3D camera tracking information, but what this is actually doing, as this is generating, uh, if I take this composition, or let me take the uh, this one here that's more of a draft mode. If I take this and go to a two, a two view, what this is actually doing is creating a camera and you can see here, this is the actual track. So I would imagine there are some ways of taking an existing camera from After Effects and bringing it over. This is no different. This is the same type of camera. You can see the camera down here in my composition. You know, and I can double click on this camera and bring up an even change and set the, uh, the film size and the angle of view and everything else.